Hello friends, James Stevenson back with another video about Tesla's market share in Europe. Is Tesla demand dead in Europe? Well, if you've been listening to the Tesla short sellers, the haters, the critics, the trolls, etc., uh, they've been saying that Tesla is uh, dead in Europe with uh, demand falling off a cliff. That's been their story for many, many years now. Uh, anytime is a good time to say the growth story is over and there's no demand. Uh, but before I make it too far into this episode, let me check in with my co-host Loki, who is sitting up in bed, ready for breakfast. This is an episode of Breakfast with Loki. Let me grab his breakfast. There you go, buddy. Okay, and we will see if he wants to get out of bed and eat some breakfast. Um, maybe I'll try putting a kibble out for him and see if that piques his interest. Uh, and if it does, I'll move this camera over here. Let's see here. Yep, that's a pretty good angle. Try to lock this camera in so it doesn't move. All right, so you'll have an angle on Loki if he decides to go eat his breakfast. Oh, you had a kibble and now it's gone. What are you gonna do, buddy? There it is, I'm just kidding. Just kidding with you, buddy, there it is, right there. And uh, we'll show my desktop and look at this tweet uh, I captioned, many believe Tesla is losing market share in Europe. Those people are what I like to call wrong. Uh, per ACEA.auto, Tesla is actually gaining market share at a faster rate than any other automaker, with registrations up 58% for, uh, to 2.9% of the total European market in Q1 of 2023 from 2.2% 2 .2 in Q1 of 2022. That's a lot of growth uh, for just one year-over-year -year comparison. And then I put a bubble chart here you can click on uh, that looks like this. So uh, Volkswagen really owns a huge piece of the European market and had the most growth in terms of units sold year over year. There goes Loki. Uh, so I have helpfully illustrated that Tesla in red here, with everybody else in gray, Tesla is the only automaker that has grown its sales from the prior year by more than 50%. Everybody else grew their sales by less than 50%, comfortably less. Nobody was very close. JLR is a Jaguar Land Rover. Nissan also up from what I'm assuming was a pretty bad year uh, uh, last year in Q1. So a lot of growth year over year uh, usually tells you that the prior year wasn't that good of a year. So pretty easy comp for people to grow versus uh, unless you're Honda or Mitsubishi who lost um, not just market share, but also total sales. They sold fewer vehicles in Europe uh, in Q1 of 2023 than they did in the prior year. So how did I come up with this bubble chart? What did I do? What's the wizardry behind what I did? Well, here's the report. There's my source, ACEA, as I mentioned. I found this from a tweet from at JPR007, hat tip to, uh, to JPR. Uh, us Jameses got to stick together. And uh, I did uh, credit him as the person uh, who brought this information to my attention. This is just a screen grab. Uh, so unfortunately, when you don't have the data available, that means you got to type it in yourself, which I did uh, off to the right over here. So I just went down the list looking at the gray rows that tell you what the total sales were by automaker. Uh, this source also has them by brand, but uh, you can get pretty confused looking at those. Stuff like Alfa Romeo here, up from 5,000 in the prior year to 12,000 in the current year, that plus 139% isn't really meaningful. It's just telling you they sold a very tiny number 
uh, in the prior year. So yeah, you just uh, you type in the name of the brand uh, down the page, then you type in how many units they sold in 2023, 2022, then you can do some math to figure out how much of an increase that was, and then you can check your work to make sure you did it right by calculating the percentage growth and making sure that it matches what's on the, uh, the, the graphic over here, that it's rounding to the right percentage number. And then somebody did ask me, hey, Tesla's 58% growth doesn't match the growth from uh, 2.2 to 2.9, that wouldn't be more than 50% growth. If it were more than 50% growth, you'd get from 2.2 to more than 3.3, right? Um, so I had to do the math down here. Okay, so if my growth is from 2.2 to 2.9, that's 0.7 percentage points worth of growth in market share that Tesla achieved year over year. Uh, Volkswagen had the most market share growth from 23.9 to 25.3. Uh, so if you have 25.3 minus 23.9, that's 1.4 percentage points worth of market share growth for them, but their base was a lot larger. They were already at 23.9% uh, to begin with, so they only grew their market share by 6% whereas Tesla grew their market share by 32%. So here's the answer to the question, hey, if Tesla didn't grow by 58% on market share, what did they grow by? Well, they, they only grew by 32% because everybody sold more <laughs> just about uh, this year than they did last year. You've got a heavy bias to the right side of this line. This is the zero line here. So only Honda and Mitsubishi sold less, and they only sold a little less than they did in the prior year. There were no uh, giant losers year over year, uh, with almost everybody uh, seeing growth. So that's why uh, Tesla's market share percentage points didn't grow by as much as their year over year sales grew by. Hey. I do get to have uh, Loki uh, eat some of his breakfast in this video. He did get around to it. See, sometimes people think Loki does indeed. But Loki does actually eat? Yep, yeah, there he is. Eating breakfast. Oh yeah, at this point I'm just going to make this a Loki eats breakfast video. Because, uh, you know, he doesn't always eat breakfast when I give him the opportunity to uh, during the video. Sometimes he's a little camera shy. People worry about Loki. I see comments all the time from people saying, hey, shouldn't you be feeding him different food if he doesn't like that food? He likes this food fine. Mostly he's a social eater. Uh, you got a lot of food left to go, buddy. There you go. Keep going. You're doing great. Yes. Love you, Loki. Yes. Keep going, buddy. You're doing good. Ah, uh, the noises of Loki eating breakfast. So, uh, yeah, the next time you see a Tesla hater or short seller or critic or troll telling you, Tesla is losing EV market share in Europe, uh, you can say, yeah, but EV market share doesn't count uh, because these other automakers that are gaining EV market share are losing total market share to Tesla. Tesla is gaining total market share, and there's only one market, and it's the total market. Right, and if if you're if you're wondering about that, no, isn't there a separate EV market? Then just ask yourself the question: Where does an EV market buyer come from? If you just think about that question for a minute, you'll have the answer uh, to: Is there a separate EV market? No, there isn't. There's only the new passenger vehicle market. Okay, good boy, Loki. Loki has eaten all his breakfast and earned his reward. Good boy.
So, a successful Breakfast with Loki video is now in the bag. Let me return this camera. With Loki chomping down on his uh, puppy combo reward for eating all of his breakfast, that's what he gets uh, when he finishes breakfast, no matter what time he finishes breakfast. Uh, like I say, sometimes he's camera shy and doesn't want to jump right in during the video. But I'm happy that today is one of the days you got to see Loki have breakfast. And with that, I will end the video and say, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel over here and click the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post fresh content. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports me, especially my executive producers. I'm going to make you dizzy. Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com, and I'll see you in the next one. Just trying to share as much Loki content as I can in this video. Uh, bye, folks.